Welcome to this video in which we will be designing the shaft and we will assemble the bearings and perform the motion study analysis on that. So let's start. First select file, click on new, select part and then click OK. So select here top plane, click on sketch, select a circle and then make one circle at this origin now press the escape button select the smart dimensions and specify the diameter of this circle as 30 millimeter now go to features select this extruded boss base command and extrude this up to 18 millimeter so select this and type here 18 then press enter then check this box after that select the surface again and click on sketch and make a circle here at the same origin press the escape button go to smart dimensions and specify the diameter of the circle as 35 press enter then go to features select extruded boss base and extrude it up to 5 millimeter only so manually type here 5 millimeter then press enter and then simply check this box select this surface click on sketch now make a circle again at the same origin press escape button Select the Smart Dimensioning tool and again specify the diameter as 30 millimeter. Then go to Features, select Extruded Boss Base, and here specify the length of extrusion as 12 millimeter this time, and then press Enter then check this box and now select this surface click on sketch select the circle and make a circle at the same origin specify the diameter by using the smart dimensioning tool specify here 35 millimeter again now go to features select expert boss base and extrude it up to 5 millimeter so man will type here 5 millimeter and then check this box select the surface again click on sketch and select a circle make the circle at the same origin specify the diameter of this circle and then simply extrude it up to 24 millimeter check the box and then again make a circle at the same origin but this time we will be making the smaller circle and specify the diameter as 24 this time and the length of extreme will be a little bit larger this time so specify here 30 millimeter for the length of extreme then check the box we are almost done here and make a final circle and this time we will specify the diameter as 16 millimeter and finally extrude it and then simply check this box so 
the shaft has been created and now select a plane that cut this shaft in half in my case this is the front plane so click on sketch and here we have to select this center point tangent slot and make a slot at here we have to specify two points and then click here now we have to specify the dimensions for that go to smart dimensioning tool from this center point of the slot to this line specify the dimension the distance between these two points is 15 millimeter and then this point to this point specify here 12 mm and then the width of this lot from this line to this line specify here 8 millimeter okay and now go to features select extruded cut and here we have to define the surface rather than sketch so select your surface then select this surface so this surface has been selected and now we have to specify your 5 millimeter and then check this box so a slot with a depth of 5 millimeter has been created here and now specify some appearance you can specify any appearance and now select the fillet command select this surface and select this opposite edge define your one millimeter and then check this box and now save this part as shaft then cross this window select file click on new but select assembly this time and then click ok this window will automatically appear double click on this shaft and then change the background to plain white here we have to go to this design library expand this toolbar and here we have to find skf so double click here on this skf select your bearing go to ball bearings and here drag this radial ball bearing here now we have to specify some parameters this window will automatically appear and here in this size we have to specify this one so click on this it will take some time and here we have to specify these dimension these should be detailed and we should add a cage and then simply check this box since we have we need two ball bearings and automatically this bearing will appear so place it here and then press the escape button and now we have to adjust these so in assembly select this move command and now select this rotate component so rotate these bearings in the direction of shaft and now select this surface and click on mate and then select this bore of the bearing it will align with the shaft check this box select the bore of the other bearing and select this part of the shaft check the box select, select the mate again and here select this side of the collar of the shaft and this side of the inner race and then check this box similarly 
select this color the side of the color and the side of the inner race and then simply check the box and now we are done with the mating select here rotate rotate these bearings one by one both are working fine and now select this shaft and select this option the shaft will be opened in a separate window here in this whole wizard menu select the thread and click here ok this window will appear in this location specify this edge and then here specify up to surface rather than revolution so specify up to surface and then select this surface okay and now we have to specify the size of the thread so specify here m16 by 1.5 as the pitch and you can see this pitch will be increased and then you have to make sure about some more so specify your die and then it's fine then check this box here and the thread has been created now press the ctrl s button save it and then cross this window from here okay so here you can see the thread has been created on the shaft so now specify some color i'm specifying here red color for the bearings check this box and then from here select this shaft and then select this option specify some other color to the shaft so this green color is looking fine and now select your motion study expand this bar from here drag this up to 8 or 10 second select this setting button here specify 40 for frames per second then check this box here select the contact option select this shaft these two bearings check this box and now specify and now select this motor option and then select this bearing and here make sure that you select 10 or 15 rpm as speed and then check this box 50 rpm is too much select the motor again and specify the direction to other bearing in case you want to edit feature you can add it from here you can edit the speed and then select this calculate button and then you can select the play button so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you